Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. And for today's video ay pag-uusapan natin yung uh, damage dito sa ating aeroplano. So if you want to know what kind of damage we have on this aircraft, just keep on watching. Okay guys, so during daily check on our Airbus 319, we have one findings on our left engine and we need to evaluate this damage. Our findings is on our left engine and our damage is leading edge, metal leading edge missing on our outlet guide vanes. I got a bad feeling about this. As you can see here, this is our outlet guide vanes and you will see the metal leading edge was chipped off so it will be considered as missing. So this is after the pan blades. I think we can access this one using one hand but uh, carefully it's just to put a speed tape here. Okay guys, so usually kapag meron tayong damage sa aeroplano, ang una natin gagawin ay we will uh, check our manual. If this damage is uh, within allowable limits, otherwise we need to do something or we need to do temporary repair to put uh, the aircraft back in service. So the most important thing also when we work on engine, specifically here on inlet, we need to put a place we need to put a mat here otherwise we will damage our inlet cowl Aww. so if we damage this inlet cowl it will cost a thousand of dollars to repair it even if it is uh, only small nicks or a small dent okay guys so we will start a uh, evaluation for this damage and we'll check in the manual if it is allowable or not okay okay guys so we're now here on inlet cowl this is Airbus 319 and we will now measure our damage and after we measure the damage we will check in maintenance manual so specifically you can check uh, in aircraft maintenance manual or we will go to SRM which is the structural repair manual so for this specific type of damage uh, we can see it on uh, AMM the allowable limits later I will show you and uh, for now we will measure the damage and we'll see the limitation for this damage okay so the damage classification for this one is uh, metal leading edge missing because it was chip up okay guys so after uh, I measure the damage and I look also for our reference for this damage and this is our details for our damage height is 30.5 millimeters it, it's actually a length because this is the large size of our damage and the width is 10.5 millimeters so if we'll check this uh, our uh, maintenance manual you can find it in chapter 72 guys and we will go here on H because this is for for outlet guide vane see number six and we go from here 
because the, the damage is metal leading edge missing so when we look on this allowable limits here maximum height is 20 millimeter and maximum uh, white what width is uh, 10 millimeter so we exceed our allowable serviceable limits so the next thing to do is to do this thing here on the right to make your aircraft back in service okay so we need to do this 100 cycles extension allowed if missing material is over the maximum serviceable limits the speed tape usage is recommended when missing metal on leading edge to preserve repair possibility avoiding any damage on composite material so we will provide the speed tape on that uh, metal leading edge missing okay just to prevent damage on our composite material okay so we will start now for our temporary repair so after 100 cycle guys we need to replace this outlet guy paints okay this is the maximum allowable uh, cycle to put this aircraft in service after this we need to replace this outlet guide paints yeah this one we need to replace the whole thing okay so I will call inspector I will clean the surface and we will put our speed tape and return the aircraft back to service wow. okay guys okay guys so bago natin lagyan ng ating uh, speed tape kailangan natin linisin itong ating surface area so para maganda yung dikit at kapit ng ating speed tape nilalagay dito as a temporary repair para mag-close na natin itong item guys so eto ko <laughs> sa labas nalinis na natin yung ating uh, nalinis na natin ating outlet guy paint so tinanggal ko yung metal leading edge na na chip no consider as missing na siya so lalagyan na natin siya ng speed tape so para maprotektahan natin yung ating outlet guide paints kasi guys yung ating outlet guide paints are made of composite po yan so hindi po nakakalam uh, at uh, wag niyo pong kalimutan na mag-subscribe kay Mikano para sa mga videos na mga may kapupulutan ng kaunting kaalaman or sa aeroplan at uh, ako ay nagpapasalamat sa inyong lahat na walang sawang sumusubaybay sa ating channel at nanonood sa ating mga video ayan maraming salamat sa inyo guys lalagyan na natin ang ating outlet guy veins ng speed tape as temporary repair for this damage okay so watch out guys ito na po yung tsura nya after natin malinis yung ating uh, matanggal yung ating uh, na chip off na leading edge kita nyo yung black na yan ayan po exposed na po ang ating composite so ang dahilan po kaya ba't natin kailangan ng speed tape yan or para hindi masira itong ating outlet guide paints gawa nga nung ito ay made of composite so kung makikita nyo sa likod ayan yung ating exhaust <laughs> ayan guys So, abangan nyo guys ang ating paglalagay ng speed tape. Okay guys, so ang ating inspector ay on the way na. Kasi, i-repair natin to Temporary repair itong ating uh, outlet guide paints. On the way na siya. So, wag ko kabit yung ating speed tape. Kailangan nandito siya. Tignan nyo yung kakapitan natin to make sure that everything is good and dyan lang kayo malapit na tayo matapos guys <laughs> nandyan na siya on the way okay okay guys ito yung ating speed tape at magkakat na ako ng ating speed tape na ilalagay doon so kailangan lang natin itong ating speed tape ay nako-overlap sa ating damage and kakat na ni mechanico para mailagay na natin sa ating outlet guide base
Ayan guys, so nakita nyo naman kung kung gano'ng kahirap maging isang mechanical aeroplano. So, every day, we need to make sure that this aircraft is airworthy to fly. Means that uh, our aircraft is serviceable. Okay, we're done and uh, we need to make sure that everything is clear inside our work area everything is removed everything was clean here we'll remove our mat here and we will make sure that no additional damage was found after we perform a minor repair on this outlet guidance okay guys so we will close this engine again with the cover and we will do the documentation to close this item and return this aircraft back to service as you can see guys this is our repair outlet guidelines so we can fly this aircraft for 100 cycles as per our aircraft maintenance manual okay so this is our uh, leading edge of our outlet guidelines so from the back you can see that the uh, speed tape is all throughout our other side of our outlet headbase as you can see here guys this is our speed tape and we're done for today thank you so much for watching